Boys and girls, I am ready to teach you your math lesson for Thursday. Um, today you're going to do two pages, well, you're, I'm going to assign you two pages in your packet, and then one page in your math book. It's a math box page. So we are starting on, let me make sure, yep, on the page that looks like this, the one that has the beach chair down at the bottom. You see which one I'm talking about? And we're gonna start with number five. We're going to do it together. And I want you to do it with me with the steps that I'm doing and listen to the words that I'm saying, okay? Because I think if you do that, you'll understand better. This is a new thing that we're doing. So you did some pages yesterday where sometimes you had to take some tens and bring them over to the ones column and sometimes you didn't. The same thing is gonna happen today. And so the first thing you need to ask is what's your first math problem? And it's always the math problem that's in the ones place. So our first math problem is seven minus three. Can you do seven minus three? If you have seven, can you take away three? Yes, seven minus three is four. So we don't have to do any crossing out and moving ones over to, our, yeah, moving that group of tens over to the one place, ones place. You don't have to do it, every problem. In this one, we don't. Seven minus three equals four. So we don't have to do any switching around. And then five minus two. Five, four, three, 34. That's the answer and that's one, that one's done. Number five on the beach chair page. If you need to, take a pause for a second and do that one and get it done. Okay, we're back. Now we're gonna go on to number six, the one right next to it. 75 minus 29. If I have 75, could I take away 29? Do I have enough? Yes. But now let's look at our first math problem. Five minus nine. If I have five, can I take away nine? Uh-uh. So what I need to do is I need to go to the tens place, cross out the seven, make it a six, slip a little one right here, make that a 15. You kind of see how that looks like a 15? If you're doing it up close on your paper, it'll look more like a 15. All right, now we're ready to subtract. So think of this number right here, 1, 5, 15. 15 minus 9, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's your touch points if you're using them. 6, 15 minus 9 is 6. 6 minus 2, no problem. That one's 4. Okay, if you need to, pause and catch up. But you can do it right with me if you want. I'm going to do three examples on each page. Next one. This is number 6 right next to it. Oh, I'm sorry, number five, six, this is number seven. You, find, you see it on the page? Right there. 53 minus 46. So first think your math problem. Three minus six. If I have three, can I take away six? One, two, three, no, I don't have enough. Go to your tens place. Cross out your five, make it a, right, four, write that down. And don't skip the crossing out and writing. I know some of you like to do that, don't do it because when the numbers get bigger, you're gonna get confused. So cross out the five, make it a four. Now you have a group of 10, a group of 10 ones kind of floating up here. Put them down right here in front of the three. The three plus 10 is 13. See the 13? 13 minus six, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. 13 minus six is seven. Four minus four is zero. You can write the zero or you don't have to. Either way is okay. Okay, turn to the next page. We're gonna practice some on the next page, the one with that little kangaroo on the bottom. It says subtract, regroup if needed, check your answers. We're starting right here with number four, 53 minus 36. All right, here we go. Move that so that light's not in the way for you. Think of your first math problem, three minus six. Can you do it? Three, take away six, you can't. So go next door, take this group of Take, take away a group of 10. So instead of having five tens, you're gonna have four. But now you got a 10 floating up here, right? Slip it in front of the three. 13 minus six, we know that from up there is seven. Now we look at the tens column. Four minus three, what's that equal? One, you're right. Write it down. Next one. Think of your first math problem looking in the ones column. Five minus nine. If I have five, can I take away nine? No. Go to your tens place, cross out the A, make
make it a 7. Make this a 15. Can you see how that looks a little bit like a 15? See how I squeezed it in there? 15 minus 9 is 6. I know I'm going fast with the calculations, but I want you to get used to the steps of crossing out and regrouping and things. Good. And then 7 minus 5, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. There you go. And one more. This is 4, 5, this is number 6 right here. Look in your ones column. 7 take away 9. Can I do it? No. Go next door. Cross out the 6. Make it a 5. Because you can take that group of 10. Slip it in front of the 7. Now you got 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. There you go. We've done six problems together. I want you to finish each of those rows, just those rows, whatever they are. I guess we're done with this row already. But go back to this page. We did the first three. Finish the last three. Go check in with a grown-up. Make sure you're doing it right. Then do another row. Check in with a grown-up. Because you don't want to do the whole page and then have done it the wrong way and have to start all over again. So. Check in, and if you, if you seem to be getting it, if your grown-up says, oh, you got it, you're not making any mistakes, then you can finish the page. And when you're done with that, I want you to do page 177, the math box, uh, in your math book. And um, a little bit of a story problem with money, a graph, measuring it, measuring this line segment right here in centimeters and inches, um, another story problem, and then write your own story problem to match that number model. 45 minus 20. 45 of something. Take away 20 of something. There you go. I can't wait to see how creative you are. And that's it. So I think you're going to be awesome. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see ya.